how to create join drawing templates in trade view and use it effectively to mark support and resistance zones that's a topic for discussion today in the market secrets trading view truck series before we get started i would like to mention that we at market secrets had recently launched algo traders program atp so if you are someone who is interested in learning end to end algo trading the join our atp program i'll leave the link to it in the description section of this video and with that note let's jump into today's session so if you are a price action trader or a demand and supply uh, trader right that is a support and resistance trader then you would know that zone drawing is very critical and in the earlier episode we have seen how to you know uh, draw a zone in trading view for example right so this is how you draw a zone in trading view and we knew uh, we talked about how to you know uh, get this done but this is not enough i mean uh, you know we might have support zone we might have resistance zone we might need different colors for each of them so how to create a template okay so that you know we can uh, you know uh, create those zones uh, in the right way okay for example right uh, this is a support zone this is in green but uh, you know if i'm uh, you know marking a resistance zone right it might be in red for example right uh, imagine that this is a resistance zone uh, for the future uh, if i mark it this should be in red so how to go about it okay so every time when i try a zone right i want you know uh, like to go and uh, change the color it's not just color you know there are n number of parameters that Uh, comes with zone drawing which we'll talk about in the next episode but uh, you know it's not good practice to you know manually go and uh, you know edit these zones every time it's better to have a template created okay so let's see how to you know uh, create a template so so if you select uh, you know any of these zones right you are, and if you go here right uh, you will see templates button what you can do is like you can uh, um, you know save this particular setting as a uh, template okay so for example demand zone demand zone okay so next time if i draw any particular zone right and if i go here and if i select demand zone this will automatically take all the settings this particular uh, zone uh, had uh, earlier in the sense right all the settings uh, will be common like you don't have to you know manually change it every time like guys right you can create one for support zone for example right if i click here this is in red and if i click on this thing and say select save drawing template and select support zone i'm now creating the second template now we have two um you know uh, different uh, templates so now what you can do is like you can just remove all this so fresh uh, plot the fresh zones so i'm plotting it okay so this is a um, you know by default it's coming in green if i select demand zone um, you know this will uh, take the all the demand zones properties and likewise if i uh, you know draw in another zone and you know if i select supply support zone uh, it should be supply zone sorry it's a typo so demand this is supply zone so you know if i select it right uh, its properties will automatically be applicable so you know uh, we don't have to change the settings every time okay so that is the critical piece here okay so now anyway right let's um rename it supply zone okay so i'm removing the support zone okay now um let's draw another zone so what sort of zone this is when we mark this zone this was a supply zone because uh, you know this was acting as a resistance but once the price broke through this particular price range right this become new demand zone because this has now turned into a support so uh, once price breaks through this you should what what you should generally do is like you need to change the type of the zone so this uh, uh, this has now become a demand zone or you know support zone so this is not a supply zone anymore so flipping between the zones also easy if you take the template route so if you are someone who is uh, trading based on price action or support and resistance or demand and supply templates is something that you must know of and you should definitely use you know you cannot blindly you know uh, you know change uh, the settings every time it won't work out because of the complexities that we have which we'll learn in the next episode uh, the immediate next episode right you'll know why uh, you know you need to go for templates you might think you know this might just be color but it's not that you know there are a lot of other complications i uh, will talk about it in the next episode meanwhile if you have any queries about this let me know in the comment section thanks for watching have a great day goodbye